Hey guys, how's it going? Azure Collections here and today we're looking at another KO action figure review. This is a review of the Mez KO Clown Prince of Crime Joker from AliExpress. Alright, so before we get into the video, a quick disclaimer about this action figure. So the belt currently sits pretty, um, I guess, neatly, but it's I've done some modifications to it where I've added like a little bit of a uh, plastic panel here to make the belt a little bit wider so that it can sit in its proper position otherwise it was like you know uh, all the way up to his tummy section here and it was pushing out this uh, vest a little bit so I had to mod it just to make it look a little bit better so that's the only disclaimer I've not changed anything else on this figure so yep let's get into it so to kick things off let's look at the figure in general and uh, the basic appearance so uh, let's start with the face yeah, the eyes are painted pretty shoddy. <laughs> Looks like he's looking in two different directions. Uh, the hair, I think, is still pretty alright. And if you know how to paint, you could probably fix the eyes. The teeth and the green, um, under not under harsh lights, looks pretty good. Uh, I think in harsh light, it does uh, demonstrate that the fault a little bit more. But then, yeah, I feel like uh, when I'm looking at it in natural light in, in person, it's, it's, it's bearable. Uh, the collar piece here uh, that's stitched, it's not stitched with the Mezco Precision, so it's sitting a bit high and yeah, the neck is lost more or less, so that kind of sucks. Uh, okay, so this part was stuck down to the figure, but then uh, when I was playing around with the belt, it just popped out and uh, basically, yeah, there's no kind of... Um, stitching or anything to hold the uh, inner under undershirt in place so the vest was the only thing that was holding it in place but uh because i got rid of the because i got rid of the glue that was holding the vest yeah everything's now undone so that sucks a little bit but it's all right uh the clothing inside it's it feels like a good fabric so that's pretty cool but then yeah like i said the stitching's not good and it is a little bit thicker so it does not lend well to the figure so it's a little bit well inaccurate and a little bit bulky on the figure uh the vest itself is very thick kind of plasticky material so it is still fabric but i'm not sure why they went for like a thicker fabric so it doesn't sit naturally on the figure at all it pops up like in multiple different places just looks a little bit weird um but i guess it's all right um the belt it's not the best it was a little bit too tight I had to do the whole mod on it I just couldn't stand it and uh, the painting is pretty bad so if you look at the silver sections here yeah it's just blotches of silver painted on rather than you know you're picking up the minute details of the spikes so it looks a little bit like splotchy uh, the, the the elastic pieces are done pretty well so uh, kudos to that uh, the pants are weird a little bit. So the one side of the leg, so the left leg here is a little bit bigger. The pants are sewn a little bit bigger and not as tight as the right leg. So it looks makes him looks like look like a little bit, you know, looks like the right leg is a little bit more puffier. And oh sorry, the left leg. So it looks like the left leg is a little bit more puffier and uh, the boots are done well enough, I guess. So yeah, it's just a mold, uh, mold in black plastic. So that's done pretty well. And the hands are all right, but yeah, there are a few things that are pretty flawed. But overall, I think this is a pretty good replica of the actual figure. I do not actually have the authentic figure, but uh, from what I can see here, the authentic figure must have been really nice. So in terms of articulation, the Joker's head can move up that much, move down that much. So it's I don't know, pretty, pretty limited. I'm not sure why, but the head can pivot side to side pretty well. And it's a singular uh, piece like the authentic Mezco one, which is pretty cool. Uh, the body can not do that much. Oh, it's, yeah, it can do a little bit. But yeah, I'm just afraid of, yeah, if the clothing comes out, it's a real difficult process to get it back in. So I'll not risk it, but there is a little bit of movement there in, in the torso. But the body feels a little bit weird. I'm not sure why. Um, the arms can go up that much. There is a swivel at the bicep. Yep. It can rotate around. 
but I don't want to go any further than that because I can feel the resistance. Um, the elbows are a little bit better than 90 or around 90. Yeah, around 90. Uh, the wrists can rotate around and then they, they, you can configure it to go up and down or in and out. And uh, the wrist pegs are pretty easy to swap out, but a little bit too loose. Uh, in terms of the legs, I'll just get the arms out of the way. In terms of the legs, they can... Okay, so one of the legs is a little bit jammed, so that's the best he can do. So, yeah, this leg is a little bit jammed. Um, in terms of kicking front, uh, the knife pouches might come in the way, but that's how far forward he can go, which is not 90. He can't go, oh, he can go back a little bit. Um, double bend in the knees, but is that the best he can do? Uh, Okay, there's, there is double bend in the knees. Uh, there's a boot cuff rotation. And you can pivot the, uh, the the actual ankle area. And then there's good pivot and good range of motion. So in terms of additional head sculpts, the Joker comes with this atrocious looking head sculpt. I really don't like how it looks. I'm not sure why. It's probably the hair. Um, the coloring on it is, I guess, fine enough. But then it just looks a little bit very blocky. The mold looks very blocky. The eyes, yeah, they're the same, the same issue with the 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 other head as well. The eyes are just painted really weird. Uh, this one looks like it has more black around the eyes, and the lips look consistent enough. But yeah, I'm not sure why, but I don't like this head sculpt at all. And this head sculpt's better, but the painting on it is absolutely terrible. So that's that's what you get for buying KO figures, I guess. But so Joker also does come with a member of the Suicide Squad. He's got a bomb strapped onto him. So in terms of the details, it's detailed on pretty well. Uh, the numbers look like it was a sticker stuck on. Um, everything else looks like it's painted. It's not painted the best because you can see that uh, these areas here, uh, they don't have painting. So only the front of it, uh, the tape has painting. And uh, actually the seams look really weird. Uh, the teddy has like a bulletproof vest, looks like, underneath, or maybe just a strap-on vest. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but yeah, the teddy has a uh, has a vest that's holding everything together. It's pretty cool. Uh, it looks really wretched, looks really old, very worn. So I guess uh, with the theme that we're going with, it does really do the part well. So in the packaging, we also get like a gun, which is painted really weirdly. I don't know what it is. It's just painted a little bit weird. Uh, it looks like very bad camo on it. So the paint is horrible, but the sculpt is pretty decent. And you can actually remove this piece and you've got an additional one that you can swap it out with. So there's a spare uh, clip and then you can basically just swap it out. So it works pretty well. Um, but looks like there was a piece that was supposed to be on the back here as well. But then that's gone missing. Uh, I couldn't find it anywhere in the packaging. so. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, you also get a bullet effect. So you get three bullets, but then one of the bullets is shooting into the other bullet. So Joker is a pretty bad shot, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, that's what it looks like. It's it's, a, it's not that flimsy. Uh, it It is all right. I mean, I'm not sure if it will look all right. But yeah, just the bullets not going towards the, I guess, towards the center of where it's being shot is a little bit weird. But yeah, it doesn't even fit in that well into the peg. But yeah, it's it's decent enough. It's a it's a good enough, I guess, uh, effect. So uh, the Joker also does come with two cookeries. Uh, so these are cookeries. Uh, I should know because they're from Nepal. So they look very much like cookeries. And yeah, they look pretty all right. They're very basically painted. It's not too much detail going on. But yeah, they're shiny enough. So it looks pretty cool. And it fits into his. I'll just try to do that. Well, oh, lost the stuff. But it should fit into his holster here. And it does. It's pretty cool. I'll put the other one in as well. And uh, this one's giving me a little bit of trouble. Oh, there you go. So they both fit in pretty alright. Next we've got the staff with the skull on like the hilt. Which is pretty cool. Um, the skull does lose a little bit of detail. So there's not much good paint going on. It's just like a gray on top of, I think, a black. So the black base and then there's like a gray dry brush on top of it. So that's what it looks like. And yeah, the gold part is all right. 
and everything else is just like very flimsy black plastic so it's all right so these are all the hands that joker come with so that is all the hands literally so even the hands that are on the figure i've taken them off and put them in the lineup for you so uh initially i think he comes with two fist hands so these are the hands that he initially comes with uh the paint on them is pretty all right i mean they've at least tried to get the spikes uh, rather than just paint a blotch on like the belt and the nail is done in black as well which is pretty cool so it's painted well it's sculpted well but that's a mesco sculpt they just lifted it straight off uh there's a lot of paint bleed here which is not good but yeah for what it's worth it's it's done all right um they slide on and off pretty well as well uh but yeah let's move on to the other hand so these are the more like, this looks like a cane hand and this looks i don't know what what it is i'm not sure what it's supposed to hold it might hold the cane as well in like a different uh way but yeah they both look all right the nails are painted on all of them which is pretty cool that's an additional touch that i didn't know the ko figures would usually do but they've done that here. Uh, the spikes are painted on, and this has less paint flaw compared to the fist hand, so that's pretty alright. Uh, next, we've got okay. So this is the other um, cane holding hand. So these two are very similar. So they hold on to the cane, and they're pre painted pretty similar as well. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, next, we've got like an open kind of clawing kind of hand which has all the nails done up and there's a lot of yeah there's a lot of good painting other than this finger here where rather than going straight across it's like the glove is in, at an angle which is weird which normally doesn't happen but maybe the joker has weird glove taste um and also we have a trigger finger which was holding the gun before it's done pretty well but initially it came stuck here and then uh, when I put the when I forced the gun in, it just started ripping out, and then that's the remnant of what happened. And last but not least, we get the ha 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 base, which is pretty cool. It's colored pretty well, and there's like a definite overlay here, so it feels like a uh, kind of sheet of paper or something like that. So the green ha has they look pretty cool, and I actually really like this base. Usually I don't use the Mesco bases, but we get the base, we get the stand, which is uh, very common with Mesco. And we get the baggie to put all the accessories in, but I usually just leave them in the box, but yeah. So in terms of height comparison, this is what the Joker looks like next to some other Joker figures that I have. So um, the Joker on the left is a DKR, I think, two-pack Joker. I'm not sure exactly. And the one on the right is the Suicide Squad Mattel Multiverse Joker. And moving on, on the extreme right there, we've got the McFarlane DC Multiverse Arkham City or Arkham Asylum Joker. So next up, we've got a Jester Party up in here because Joker is surrounded by some Harley Quinns. So uh, on the extreme left there, we've got the DC Collectibles Arkham City uh, Harley. Next to the Joker, we've got the Harley Quinn figure from uh, Mezco, which is the newest release. And uh, she's got really like flimsy wrists, so I'm really scared of posing her. But yeah, this figure absolutely looks awesome with the Joker. And on the extreme right there, we've got the Suicide Squad, Mattel Multiverse, Harley Quinn from the movie. All right, so let's compare this Joker next to a few different uh, action figure lines and different Batmans from different lines because I have a lot of Batman, so this made sense. On the extreme left, we've got the White Knight Batman from McFarlane Toys. Right next to him, we've got the Mafex Armored Batman from BVS. Uh, next to the Joker on the right, uh, we've got the Sovereign Knight Batman, which is a Mezco products. And on the extreme right there, we've got the DC Collectibles, DC Direct, Dark Knight Returns, Batman. So next up, a bunch of different characters from different lines. But yeah, just for the comparison, uh, on the extreme left there, we've got the WWE Ultimate uh, action figures from Mattel. This is Triple H. Right next to him, we've got Flash from SH Figure Arts. This is the Justice League movie Flash. So on the right of Joker, we've got Chadwick Boseman, rest in peace, Black Panther, uh, pretty cool action figure from Marvel Legends. And on the extreme right there, we've got the Wonder Woman DC icons figure. So next up, we've got a custom, a KO and two blank bodies and they walked into a bar. Next up, we've got a custom a Red Hood figure on the left of Joker. So that's done on the Mix Max body. Um, the figure to the right is the BVS uh, Batman, so it's just a knockoff figure, uh, it's vanilla knockoff, nothing changed there. 
On the extreme left there, we've got the slim uh, Mix Max body, which is something that I need to review. I've just gotten hold of that. But just in terms of scale, everything looks pretty cool and works out pretty fine. So yeah. So in conclusion, I think that this Joker figure is pretty decent for the price point. I know it is a step down in terms of uh, the quality of the fabrics and the joints are not the best either. But for what it's worth, you get a decent figure. So uh, with all the accessories and the number of uh, additional heads and also the fabric goods, you're getting a pretty good deal for I think 30 to $40 that I paid for this figure. So uh, usually in Australia, uh, a McFarlane uh, multiverse toy would cost me around 30 35 bucks so compared to that because of all the different aspects the different fabric quality of the goods and all of that I'm getting a pretty good figure here the paint job is done pretty horribly so if there is a customizer in you that can make this a little bit better paint it a little bit better you're gonna do such a great job and then make this figure look so awesome so definitely has potential uh it is a little bit lacking in terms of the pants are also different size on either leg and the belt when it came uh, as is was absolutely horrible it looked like one of those grandpa pants where the belt would ride up to the chest which didn't do any any good for the joker so i think in conclusion if you know how to mod and if you know how to paint this figure would work for you but otherwise maybe it's not the best option maybe going for the authentic one is a better choice but that that depends on the aftermarket prices for the authentic one as well but yeah it's a pretty cool figure all in all uh, for the price so thank you all for sticking to the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave a like and a comment if you can that really helps the channel and if you can subscribe that is even better uh, also with the next uh, couple of videos i'm trying to work on some uh, templates and designs for the mix max body so i'll be working with the slim and the the strong as well so i might do a strong body kind of custom first so uh, i'm still working on those it just takes a little bit of time with the patterns and the sewing and all of that but uh, hopefully i'll bring you a cool video next time around so stay tuned guys